it's that time of year again. Well, actually it was that time of year again in April, but uh, now it's June. And as you know, in April, we were dealing with the COVID crisis. So my, my son Brayden just turned four in April and he really wanted to do a birthday party with the pinata and his friends. And we ended up ordering a water slide and he wanted to have his birthday. So, you know, I feel like COVID has taken a lot from people and it might be first world problems, but you know, I feel like people deserve their weddings or their first time babies and you just gotta make do with what you what you have with this time. So we are doing a small birthday party for him tomorrow. We invited several little kids in his class. I, I don't even know how many little kids we're gonna have, maybe eight. Um, you know, and I have hand sanitizer everywhere. So we are in, still in phase two in Louisiana. Um, so we are going to try and make this as COVID um, I don't want to say friendly <laughs> as COVID precautionary as possible. Um, so I wanted to take you along. It is a Lightning McQueen cars theme birthday. And so I'm going to show you my table mess. And then I'm also going to show you his April birthday. We did kind of do a little thing for him. No, we didn't. We did a little like decorating and we took a picture with him and then my friend drove by and did this little parade. So I want to share what an actual birthday during the COVID crisis looked like for a four year old and then his party tomorrow. So I'm gonna get in and start decorating. In the meantime, you're gonna see um, clips of the COVID um, April shindig. We really didn't have a shindig, this little thing that happened. So. Here you go. Hello and good morning. I realized I look a train wreck, but we are in the middle of our Corona quarantine. So we've been going to bed late, waking up early. Anyway, today is Brayden's birthday, his actual birthday. So as a part of his birthday party um, video, I thought I would also share how we celebrated his birthday during the Corona quarantine because this is very unprecedented. It's something I hope never happens again. It's unique. It's unusual. And I don't know. I just thought it would be interesting to share. So it's April 5th. Today is April 5th. He was born at 5 p.m. Um, so let me show you what I did overnight for him or last night for him at the fireplace. And then I'll tell you what we're going to do today. This is the fireplace. So we, I added a banner. Uh, this is the cars font. And I did find the idea on Pinterest. And that's, of course, the piston cup with the fourth over it. And then these are just actual images I printed on cardstock and I cut around the outside of him. Lightning McQueen and the flags are all the same. So that was done. And then I had most of these letters from other birthdays. Well, actually, I'm sorry, I had two. So I had to order the other two. And I painted them in different colors. I just keep kind of reusing those from previous birthdays. And of course, I ordered the big four. I also blew up some balloons. I bought these sticks last year and I didn't end up using them. So I thought, well, I don't have helium. That would work for this. And then these guys are two parters. Lightning McQueen here and Jackson Storm are like sturdy um, plastic. They're from JCPenney from the little Disney store inside there. I got those for Christmas. And they're the kind that pull back and, and go forward. And the other guys are rubber. And they're actually like meant to be bath toys. A friend of mine found them at Disney World this year. So I think actually when it's time to have his cake, like his Disney Cars cake, I'm going to use the Lightning McQueen like this for his cake because that's easy to clean out. And I'm not having to worry about tires and parts and stuff because um, the underside is just, you know, smooth. So anyway, that's our mantle. Now for breakfast, we're going to do cinnamon rolls per Braden's request. And then we're going to make his cake. Hey man, good morning. Happy birthday. What'd you see? I see decorations. I decorations. See you want to play with them? Yeah. Okay. Play with those cars. You like mama's decorations? Yeah. Happy birthday. Hey, how old are you today? Four. Four. You want to go make some cinnamon rolls? What do He wants to help me. Oh, you are already ready. All right, let's get them. All right, let's get them. All right, which uh, cinnamon rolls do you gonna get? Two. You want two? I want two in this plastic. Okay, which cinnamon rolls do you want? I want a cinnamon. You want all of them? You get two. Two. Can you help me make them? Good job, dude. Okay. You want us to sing? Mom and Dad. 
mom and dad. Okay, you gonna blow them out? Oh. So this is for, we like Paw Patrol, dressing ourselves, and socks on our hands. Socks on our hands, Jason Marshall, <laughs> and rubble on the feet. And rubble on the feet, okay. Okay, cake. Yep, we're gonna make sprinkle cake. So we're making a funfetti cake uh, for his birthday. Uh, three, three eggs, three eggs. There are three eggs, you counted very well. All right, you wanna pour? Yeah. Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wait. Let's get it better. There you go. Now pour it this way. Woohoo, big boy. Just don't make a mess. Very good. Look at all this bagel cake. <laughs> right, cake is made. We have all the toppings here. Getting ready to ice it. You want to do the whole thing? Is there any more? Two. Three left. Three left. Oh, you're right. There were three. Okay, you want to do sprinkles now? Again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, another blue again. Very good. Another open spot right there. Okay. There you go, we gotta push it in. So it sticks to the icing. Very good. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. What you got? Six chicken nugget happy meal. Six chicken nugget happy meal. Awesome. Is that your birthday lunch? Cool. I said you want McDonald's. You did. What do you tell them for coming and wishing you happy birthday? Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. Thank you. Can you blow them kisses? No. Blow them a kiss. No, them. Blow them a kiss. He's so confused. He's so confused. <laughs> like, why can't I talk to them? What's in it? Can you open it? What's in it? Here, you may take the paper. <gasps> Wait, what is it? Show me. Show mom. Paw Patrol. Oh my Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Another one. Another one? Another teddy. Another pack. Another pack. Would it open it? Look, there's more at the bottom. What else is in there? Another Skittle Pack! <laughs> Another Skittle Pack! Skittle! Goodness gracious! Another Skittle! Oh, tell them thank you so much. Look, look. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Oh! Whoa! How cool! You ready? Yeah. Whoa! Yay! Yay. 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 
Okay, thank you all again. Okay, bye. Here is the table where all the stuff congregates prior to the party. We have his goodie bags and then pinata was something he really wanted. And just a lot of different decorations and my brother is acting a fool over there. Anyway, so this is uh, part one of the madness. Let me show you part, and here's part two. So you'll see all this put out, but I do have to show you. We're talking about being COVID safe, COVID precautionary. I found these um, online and I kind of made them to our specifications. So this is hand sanitizer and I have three, so I'm gonna have them in several different spots throughout the house. So hopefully we will be clean and good to go. They are here setting up the water slide. It's eight o'clock, party starts at 11. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun before all the other kids get here. Can't wait. Okay, the slide is set up and mostly ready. This will be our first time. Good morning, it's officially party day. I'm gonna take you on a little tour around the house of all the decorations that we put up and then uh, I'll take you along to the party. So come along so you can see what all we've done so far. So here at the front walkway, we have the pinwheels from his first birthday party. I keep things that are like solid colored or you know, polka dot like these that um, could be used multiple times. I have sold a lot of previous birthday things, but these I did keep, so that is the thing. And then at the front door, we have some balloons and then this uh, wreath that I made and I'm not sure if y'all remember the story But this is actually the plant that Jason's sister brought Brayden in the hospital when he was born So we've taken really good care of it. It is still alive It did bloom yellow flowers in the spring like it was supposed to and that would have been perfect with the theme But you know, they're not here anymore. So it's still the plant, but it is still alive. Isn't that cool? So every birthday we I mean it stays on our front porch But I like to utilize it in some way every year for his party When you enter the front door, we have several balloons I did buy those from Amazon and I bought a helium tank from Walmart and we blew those up this morning. And then <laughs> I found a lot of ideas on Pinterest for this party. So these tubes uh, for like the pool are look like tires. So I bought those from eBay. And at the table itself, I do one of these pictures every year. So I had that made. And then just a few of the pictures we took when we were in Disney World in February in the Lightning McQueen cars area at Hollywood Studios. The cones also came from Amazon. And then these are the gift bags. Let me show you what I put inside of those. Each bag includes a little tag, Tootsie Roll, a sheet of stickers. I found these at Michael's, their little grab and go packs. And then these cars were actually in the party section at Walmart, the party favor section. And these little trophies came from Hobby Lobby. That's the gift bags. This will be the cake area. I'm waiting on my mom and dad to get here with the cake. And thank you, Corona. I had to rethink the whole blowing the candle out. My friend Heather um, made a comment about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, they did it for her husband. So I'm going to put a candle in the cupcake instead of candle on the cake. These cookies came from a friend of mine. I'm going to unbox those in a few minutes. So that's, this will be the centerpiece for the cake and where it will stay. And then panning around the rest of the house, I need to pick that up. Those are a few pieces that are actually gonna go on the cake itself. This is the living room. We have like the little present area. There's the fireplace. That little white balloon is the stray. It was the last of the helium in the container. So we used all of that. And then here's the TV. So a lot of these things, I just bought paper at Hobby Lobby and cut them out on my silhouette. I love having that option. It, it personalizes the party so much. This pinata is gonna go outside, obviously. <laughs> but there's the banner. 
Here on the little side table, I just put a few pictures and then this leads into the drink area. So I have another banner on the black tablecloth. I'm gonna put red, red punch in the punch container. And I found these water bottle labels on uh, Pinterest, I believe. So I just printed them for the water. Another cute little fun trick I found on Pinterest was to put these white marks like uh, road, you know, marks in the road. So it makes it look, it makes your black table look like a road. Isn't that cute? Look at these cookies, how precious, aren't they so cute? Uh, I told the girl who was making these not to worry about trying to, you know, make a Lightning McQueen face look right. So this is what we ended up with and I love them, so cute. Here is the cake, it has arrived. And I added a few of his little Lightning McQueen friends around. So the cake came with just the base layer. It had Brayden, the checkerboard, the grass, and the road, and I added all the extra pieces. I found these candles on Amazon, and this I had made from Etsy. And there's the candles he'll blow out. Is that a birthday boy? Out in the backyard, I used some sticks for the balloons because the helium and the strings, the wind blew and it was a hot mess. So these don't have helium in them. And of course a balloon popped, <laughs> that's okay. Back there, I was able to cut out Kachow from my silhouette. And then there's the water slide. I added another tablecloth here and I also put one on our fire pit so it wouldn't get scratched. There's Jason cooking the hamburgers. When you come out of the house, I found all these little pieces on hmm, the internet, just Google. I thought it would be cute for a little wall. And then these are also left over from his Mickey Mouse birthday party. Like I told you, I keep a lot of solid color things so that's the yellow and red and then down here is the other tire with some balloons in it there's the red punch it's a watermelon Hawaiian punch concoction from Walmart and then I also have straws and these cute cups I printed these off of Etsy as well just to make them look like lightning McQueen's eyes and of course I have hand sanitizer everywhere and then here I have a little electric frame uh, or digital frame, I should say, with a bunch of pictures that just represented Lightning McQueen, even from back to his very, very, very first Disney trip. No, no, no. His second Disney trip where we stayed in, right there, in uh, Art of Animation. And this came from a birthday card from his Uncle Brian and Aunt Kay. In the kitchen, we have a little coffee area, a vegetable tray, some chips, red and yellow, of course, to match the theme. <laughs> And then we have some Oreo cookies and some Twizzlers. And then I cut out a banner and ended up hanging it here just with some extra little pieces that I had. And then here in the other side of the kitchen is another banner along with the main food. We're gonna do chicken nuggets. Those are cooking right now. And here's all the condiments. The meat from the hamburgers is gonna go right there. And then I found these napkins at Party City. And the plates and forks came from Walmart. And then I know you've heard this throughout the thing, The car soundtrack is playing on our home echo Amazon music thing so we have it all throughout the house and then the bathroom is the pit stop haha -ha. and I had a few little extra pieces hey dude can I see your shirt can you show me your shirt a friend of ours had this made I mean a friend of ours made this cute cute and then on the TV we turn the volume off but we have cars playing so you can see that no volume. Turn on the volume. Hey, tell me again. Who brought what? Who brought what? Uh huh. And who brought the other ones? Brought which ones? Uh huh. Which one did Mama put? Mama put those two Uh huh. And? Uh huh. Hey, Pop Pop and Grams are here. These are also signs I found from Disneyland. <laughs> from cars. Okay, we replaced the balloon. So <laughs> now it's even, although the balloon is small, it's even. So people are starting to arrive. I had plans to let them swim until noon and then go inside and do cake and presents, but Brayden saw presents and he decided he wanted to change and go open presents. So I think we're gonna change the uh, timing of things around now and do presents and cake first and food and then let the kids swim after. We also bought a pinata for the party so we're about to 
open presents, sing, and all that, and then we'll come play with the pinata. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brayden. Happy birthday to you. And now the adults get to play. <laughs> and we have a two. All right, man, you ready? Put your foot out. You gotta put your foot out. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I can't put it underwater, but it won't hurt with a little splash. All right, here we go. It is now 3.30. This child has been in this thing since pretty much 8 o'clock this morning with like a two hour break for his party. Um, you know, eating and presents and stuff. And then he has not stopped since. <laughs> is that so fun? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you want to get out? No. <laughs> okay. 